What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so the first, the very, very first uh, team member on our team is Lillipup. Yes, if you guys remember in the second time that I, I went through Pokemon Black, I captured Lillipup, evolved him all the way up to Stoutland of Stoutland. And uh, yeah, kind of, kind of left me a, with a very good impression right here. So we're going to be capturing this guy right here because he's pretty cool. He, he, he can pack a wallop and all that stuff. It's a very, very good doggy. It really is. And, uh, well, here it comes out with its leer attack. And, I, I, yeah, one more attack will actually defeat it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to throw that Pokeball. And uh, hold for the best right here. Oh, crud. Here we go. Pokeball, go. Okay. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the ball. And... Throwing out that peace sign, guys. Hell yes! Alrighty. So, Lillipup's uh, data was added into the Pokedex right here. And here we have Lillipup, the puppy Pokemon. It faces strong opponents with great courage, but when at a disadvantage in a fight, it's in, in, this uh, intelligent Pokemon flees. So, no one to quit. That's right, that's a good Pokemon right there. And I already got a good nickname for him. I'm gonna dedicate this Pokemon after the Pokey or the the dog that I once had yes I'm gonna name him Ace that's right no actually that's right there Ace the Ace the Lillipup right there I really wish I could like just call him Stoutland from Scotland and all that stuff but hey you know what I promised uh, nicknames and all that stuff so welcome to the team Ace I'll be back with the you know I'll, I'll be right back guys alrighty guys so off screen I went and checked in on uh, my new Pokemon Ace, and it didn't have the nature that I wanted. So I went off screen and just, you know, tried capturing the, the Pokemon that I wanted with the specific nature and the effect that it had. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon Ace. As you can see, it is now at level 9. I did train him up from level 4, and it does have the naughty nature, which it makes, it good, uh, makes it a better physical attacker. As you can see, look at that. Everything's good. Its stats are right there. And uh, as you can see, it does have the pickup ability, which will help us uh, find some items while we're walking and all that stuff. And while training them, it learned a few new moves like Odor Sleuth and Bite. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be good right here. We're going to be very, very good. Okay, so here we are in Stryton City, home of the very first badge. And uh, the gym is right here in this restaurant. Talk to this gentleman. He's going to be like, are you looking for the gym leader? He's not here. He could be in the trainer school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. The trainer school is not far from this gym. Okay, well, never mind. So we're going to be grabbing a few items here and there. So let's go ahead and talk to this gentleman. This guy right here is like, Pokemon can be found in dark places too. That's when a dust ball can, uh, can do the trick. Here's one for you. And here we have the dust ball, which is always good. A dust ball works well at night or in a cave. Plus, its name is excellent, the dust ball. Dusk, which is pretty cool. Very, very cool. So that's one Pokeball that you can actually grab, and if you go into this house right here, and I think talk to this gentleman, he's like, oh, trainer, do you have enough Pokeballs? Don't be shy, take this with you. And here we have the Great Ball. Always good. You cannot have too many Pokeballs. My advice is that you use a better Pokeball, it's easier to catch Pokemon. Now, I do like to be very, very uh, sporadic with my Pokeballs off screen when I caught my new uh, Ace. I did catch it with the Heal Ball, which you can actually buy right here uh, for 300 bucks, I think. I don't even know. Now, if you go right here, grab the X Speed, which is always nice. First X item that will actually help us right here. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there. Now, we have to go into the Trainer School right here. You'll always find a Trainer School at the first city... At the first city that you'll get your first badge. If not, you know, in Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Leaf Green, Fire Red. It's probably, a, like, you know, in Giovanni's place, which you'll eventually get. Anywho, talk to this guy. This trainer school exists to meet the demands of trainers who want to know more about Pokemon because they love them. That's good. That's awesome. So, let's see. I think if you talk to this guy, there is a technique that uh, lets you cancel evolution. I'll read the book about it. it, it are you ready? No, I don't want to read. You can surprise a Pokemon and stop its evolution by pressing the B button when it when a Pokemon is evolving. Okay, that's a nifty trick. Would you like to take a quiz about status conditions? Yes. So here is the question. Which of the following items cures poison? Of course, it's antidotes. We've had lots of experience with that. Right answer. Now for the next question. 
the item that cures paralysis is per uh, the, para the paralyzed heal. But which of the following items wakes up a sleeping Pokemon? Very easy. An awakening. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Fantastic answer. Since you know uh, so much about status conditions, I'll give you this. We get ourselves a full heal. The very first of its kind before, you know, we, we progress in this whole thing right here. Okay, so here is our good old buddy, Sharon. He's reading up on a what's on this uh, uh, blackboard or something like that. And if you talk to this guy, when a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Hey, Draven! Have you come looking for a, a gym leader? Yes, I have. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe he walked right past them. By the way, Draven, would you like to battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. Yeah, sure. Well, let's see how effective my, my items are. Or maybe I should test uh, how well I can uh, battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Bring it on. Here we go. Battle number two versus Charen. And, uh, well, he's gotten two Pokemon right here, and he's gotten a little tougher, so he's going to be starting off with his uh, trusty Snivy right here. The Pokemon strongest to our Oshawott, and it probably does know it's an elemental move right now, so we're going to stay away from that. So let's go ahead and use the Bite Attack. Hopefully we can make this guy flinch right here. And, uh, nope, it did not flinch. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a... This is going to be a battle of attrition right here, so let's go with a tackle attack. Uh, as we all know, Ace right here is a physical attacker for right now. And, uh, wow, he's equipped his Pokemon with a Citrus Berry right here, or an Orin Berry. And now he's trying to lower his stats, okay. He wants to be very, very strategic, st strategic. and look at that, he picked up an Orin Berry while in battle, so... Okay, so go ahead, try and defeat us. That's the miracle of a pickup ability, and, uh, oh god, we're going to be... We need to finish this guy off real quickly or else he's just going to damage us for good. So here we go, tackle attack. Nearly finishes him off. Good gravy. And, uh, well, let's finish this guy off. Bite attack. For the win. Eat it, Snivy. That's right. He's gained some more experience points. He's going to be he's gonna be coming out with the Purloin. So let's go with Sigh of the Torrent. Remember, guys, cat Pokemon are always weak against water-type Pokemon. It's just it's just common nature. <laughs> and here we go. All right. He's like, it's important to choose which uh, item your Pokemon holds. Okay. All righty. Hold this. Water gun. Oh, yes. Water gun. Nearly takes him out, but here comes that scratch attack. Not so effective. Let's go again with another water gun attack. Right here for the win. Yes, sir. Look at that. Domination right there. We defeated Sharon. I see. Losing to you means that I can still learn a lot. Mm, okay, so it has a, learn, a lot to learn, I should say. And we didn't damage anything. So, learning to use items uh, well is definitely important then. Oh well. Oh, oh, here, Draven, I'll give you uh, these berries. And here we have some Orin berries. They're gonna be useful uh, for later battle. If you give a Pokemon uh, this kind of uh, berry to hold, it will eat it up and heal its HP while it goes down in battle. But if you give a Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use that item. Well, good luck then. Alright. Well, since uh, our Lillipup kind of got himself a berry... Actually, it's not holding anything. What the hell? I thought it happened. Wow. Never mind. Never mind. Did it give it to us? I don't even know. I'm kind of confused right here. Okay. So, I'm going to be going straight into the uh, into the Pokemon Center. I'll be back in just a bit, guys. Alrighty, so the next portion of our challenge right here is we're going to be going to the next route. As you can see, Cillian is waiting for us right here. He's going to be like, yes, yes, I am a gym leader of, uh, of this town. You are? Right, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Oshawa. I see. It's weak against grass-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face uh, that type. For example, try training your Pokemon in the Dream Yard. Please excuse me now. So now you are enabled to go and battle uh, the gym leader right here, which we will be doing in the next episode. But for right now, we're going to be going to the Dream Yard because that's a very, very good idea. Like, let's see what this girl has. Some trainers, tra trainer, you might. Uh, okay, no, never mind. So we're going to be going into the Dream Yard right here and uh, battling a few trainers here and there. And, uh, well, it's always nice to get some experience points. So here we go. Who is this trainer? 
And she's like, we, we are training here. Now let's train Pokemon together. Okay. Let's go. Here we have uh, Lass Eri, and she will be coming out with her Purloin. So it's going to be a battle of cats and dogs right here. Let's go, Ace. Yes, I know Ace is a guy and he has a pink Pokeball, but you know what? Pink can be manly sometimes. Manly men wear pink sometimes, I think. I don't even know, but it's not very effective. Good God, okay. It flinched, so we're going to be going straight to a tackle attack. Yes, Purloin is still a Dark-type Pokemon. And there goes with its scratch, so here we go again. Tackle attack. Eat this. Mm-hmm. Look at that. We're kicking ass, ticking names, and there you go. Ace grows to level 10. Well, that is awesome right there. And, uh, well, she's going to be coming out with another Purloin, so let's spread the love just a little bit more and go with Sigh of the Torrent. Alrighty. Sigh of the Torrent. Let's get this. Okay, we all know cats don't like water, so let's go with the water gun attack right here. Uh, yes. Water gun. Nearly takes him out, and uh, there's that assist attack. Now, it's going to be using an attack from its partner Pokemon, and... Well, it's nothing new. It really isn't nothing new because it's a scratch attack. So here we go, water gun attack for the win. Oh, yes. And, uh... There you go, we defeated her, now there's going to be another trainer right here. Yes, waiting for us, now let's go ahead and let him look at us. What do you got to say, homeboy? My goal is to outperform gym leaders, can you, can you win against me? Yes, I can. Okay, bring it, just bring it, here we go, Joey, Youngster Joey. Wow, this is like the third Youngster Joey we battled, and he's coming out with his Patrat. Drinking water, okay, always hydrate guys. Okay, so here we go. Let's go with the bite attack. Yeah. Get that bite attack. Yeah, buddy. And Ace is kicking some ass right here, so let's go ahead and spread that love again with Sigh of the Torrent. Now, a little bit of a commentary of what I did before I recorded this whole thing, guys. Uh, I did record six episodes um, back then. They were all 30 minutes or above, and I kind of figured to myself, maybe you guys want that. But then I realized, yeah, there's a... <laughs> there wasn't a lot of enthusiasm behind my voice. And uh, what else? Yeah, it just it just kind of felt like I was rushing it. So I'm going with this, like, you know, 15-minute episodes, you know, that kind of stuff. Piece by piece. Not super piece by piece, but, you know, some episodes will be 15 minutes long or 30 minutes longer. So... It just depends on the situation right here. And then, uh, yeah. On top of that, guys, I already know what kind of team I want to have for my Pokemon team right here in, in uh, Unova. Remember, you can only get Pokemon native to this land right here. So there won't be no Hydra number 5 or Sparky or Aaliyah or anything like that. No, it's just going to be straight up Unova Pokemon right here. So I already have a team planned. And look at that. Sai wants to learn and focus energy. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, take away Tail Whip right here. What else? What else am I missing? Hmm. Yeah, I already have a team in mind, and yeah, there will be Pokemon that I will be replacing here and there, just like in all my other episodes. And, uh, yeah, you know, hopefully this, this walkthrough turns out to be a better, better walkthrough than, you know, the last two. Now, the last person of importance, uh, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and grab this item first before, you know, we go to that person. So here we find ourselves another X item, uh, X Defend. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, She's like, hey, hey, you! What was the first Pokemon you received? Da, 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 da. Oshawa, really? Then a pants here could uh, be a big help. Your Oshawa does not do well against grass type Pokemon. Say, do you want this pants here of mine? Well, you know, it's gonna help us in the long run, so here we go. It can use fire type moves, so that makes a, a hunt against grass types. So here it is, guys. We get ourselves a pants here, one of the elemental monkeys. Now, it only depends on what type of Pokemon you, you choose. If you get yourself a Grass type, of course you're gonna be getting Pampoor. If you're gonna get, if you get Tepig, you're gonna get Pan Sage, and it's all you know. It it just covers your Pokemon's weakness right here. So we're gonna be uh, naming it after something that you know um, 
I've seen on uh, Disney Plus because, uh, of course, that's the coolest thing to do. Get Disney Plus. We're going to be naming this Pokemon after a uh, a character from The Simpsons, Mr. Teeny. That's right. Now, excuse me if I uh, spell this incorrectly or anything like that. Okay, so there we go. Mr. Teeny. Alrighty. That's right, Mr. Teeny from The Simpsons, the fire Pokemon right here. Now, we're not going to be using this Pokemon all the time. It's just to bail us out from this gym battle right here because, believe it or not, it's just like it, it just throws a curveball. Well, it is one of the big curveballs from uh, Pokemon uh, Black and White. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be going into the Strites and City gym and we're going to be battling the gym leader right here. And, uh, well, see how we do, okay? Uh, but yeah, off screen. I gotta train my Pokemon just a little bit because it's gonna get a little tough right here, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.